the U.S. influence on the Israel-Palestine conflict. Hello and welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally and internationally. The U.S. has been playing a complex and controversial role in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas, which has claimed thousands of lives and displaced millions of people in Gaza and Israel. Well, the U.S. has repeatedly affirmed its unwavering support for Israel's right to self-defense. It has also faced criticism for blocking over veto several attempts by the international community to call for a ceasefire or provide humanitarian aid to the besieged Gaza Strip. One of the most contentious moves by the U.S. was its decision to send back to Iron Dome missile defense system to Israel, which it had previously purchased from the Jewish state for its own use. The Iron Dome is a sophisticated system that intercepts and destroys incoming rockets fired by Hamas and other militia groups from Gaza. The U.S. said it was responding to a request from Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who thanked President Joe Biden for his unequivocal support and unprecedented cooperation. However, some critics argue that the U.S. was enabling Israel's disproportionate use of force and undermining its own credibility as a mediator. Another controversial move by the U.S. was its veto of a U.N. Security Council resolution that would have called for humanitarian pauses to deliver life-saving aid to millions in Gaza. The resolution proposed by Brazil condemned the Hamas attacks on Israel and urged the release of hostage taken by the militia group. It also called on all parties to comply with international law and protect civilian lives in Gaza and a ferocious retaliation by Israel warplanes. The U.S. said it wanted more time to let us own the ground diplomacy play out and criticize the text of the text for failing to mention Israel's right to self-defense. The U.S. veto drew disappointment and frustration from several members of the Security Council, who said the body had missed an opportunity to address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The U.S. also faced challenges in its efforts to broker a diplomatic solution to the conflict as it tried to balance its support for Israel with its outreach to Arab and Muslim allies. Biden arrived in Israel for a historic wartime visit, hoping to express his solidarity and discuss war plans with Israel leaders. However, his visit was complicated by a ballast at a hospital in Gaza that killed hundreds of Palestinian officers blame an Israel airstrike for the ballast, while Israel said it was caused by a failed rocket launch by another group, Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Biden expressed outrage at the explosion but backed Israel's account for the incident, saying it appeared as though it was done by the other team and not Israel. His visit also sparked protests across the Middle East, where many people expressed anger and solidarity with the Palestinians. Biden's trip to the region was supposed to claim the situation and demonstrate U.S. support for its ally, Israel. But he also exposed the limits and contradictions of U.S. influence in the Middle East. While Biden has pledged to replenish Israel's Iron Dome interceptors and ammunition, he has also urged Netanyahu to de-escalate the violence and seek a peaceful resolution, while Biden has announced a deal with Egypt to reopen its border close with Gaza to allow aid and rich Palestinians. He has also voted a UN resolution that would have called for humanitarian pauses in the fighting. While Biden has visited Israel as a friend and a partner, he has also cancelled his planned summit with Jordanian, Egyptian, and Palestinian leaders and outreach over the hospital blast. The U.S. had been accused of hypocrisy and double standards by human rights group and activists who say the U.S. is ignoring the violation and atrocities committed by the Israel against the Palestinians while condemning the sanctioning other countries for similar outlaw crimes. The U.S. has also faced pressure and criticism from some of its allies and partners who have expressed concern and dismay over the U.S. stance on the conflict. For example, France, Germany and the U.K. have jointly called for an immediate ceasefire and a political solution to the crisis. Turkey, Qatar and Iran have condemned the U.S. for its unconditional support for Israel and its obstruction of international efforts to end the violence. The U.S. has also faced challenges in balancing its interests and values in the region as it tries to maintain its strategic relationship with Israel while also pursuing 
its nuclear deal with Iran, its counterterrorism cooperation with Egypt, its peace plan with the Taliban, and its human rights agenda with Saudi Arabia. The U.S. role in the Israel-Palestinian war is a complex and controversial, and it remains unclear whether Biden's visit will make any difference in ending the bloodshed or easing the suffering of millions of people carrying the crossfire. This was our news analysis for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and share this video. 